All right, hey everyone, Nick Smith here from the SAP Analytics team, and I want to do a quick video here on how easy it is to grab Lumera Server for your team and deploy that and share visualizations uh, very quickly right from your desktop. And so this is uh, this is a quick tutorial video uh, that I pulled together. And I'll, I'm a I'm a marketing guy. Uh, don't don't really have any. Uh, you know, experience or knowledge within systems, and I, I want to show you guys how easy it is to grab a server and share your visualization. So I have Lumera Desktop here running the latest version, and I want to grab my uh, server for Teams. The first thing I want to show you guys is just on the Lumera website how you can grab this and get access to it, uh, and simply go to the the server for Teams, uh, and you can contact us to grab a free trial. You can buy it on on the SAP store. Uh, or if you're an SAP customer, you can go into Service Marketplace and do a quick download of it. Here's Lumera Server for Teams. I've just searched in for Lumera under L. And here's the latest installation that I can grab. And there you see it there, Server for Teams 127. So I can grab that at to my basket. Now I've already downloaded it. It takes a few minutes to, to download. And here it is. And what I'm going to do is run the setup and really just show you how easy it is. So I've grabbed the file here, it's a zip file, and I'm going to start the installation process and while that's running, show you a few new features within Lumera on the desktop, create a visualization, and then share that with my teams and my, my uh, uh, stakeholders within my organization so that they can get valuable insights into uh, the data they need to know. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is enter a username and password for my server. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and run this right on my laptop. So I don't need any uh, you know, additional support. Now this is going to go ahead and run and install server on my machine. And while this is happening, let's walk through, this will take a few minutes, so let's time it, and let's walk through a, new, a couple of the new features within Lumera and the latest release, which is 127. Again, you can download that from the sap.com slash Lumera website. Now you'll notice a bunch of new things on the home screen here, great ways to grab information, get tutorials, uh, ask questions of the community. So this is a great resource for learning what's new and finding out about new features and asking questions if, you, if you're if you running into any problems. Now, uh, the first thing I'll do is let's open up one of the, the documents here that I've been working on and, and show you a, a couple of the new capabilities. There is lots of new features and functions when it comes to data manipulation, data preparation, uh, blending and mashing together of data. One of the new things is grabbing data from a BW or grabbing big data from Hadoop and being able to bring it in here into the prepare tab and munge and mash those data sources together. So there's lots of new capabilities and easy ways to add data sets uh, and manipulate that data uh, right within the desktop. And I'm just using a, a spreadsheet here as an example uh, to show you some of these capabilities. As we move over to the Visualize tab, again, lots of new ways to visualize this data. So new charts and graphs that you can use, uh, new ways to interact with this information and modify uh, the visualization panel here. And in addition, uh, extensions, so bringing uh, custom visualization extensions right into the mix here. And let me go over to uh, the extension manager. And uh, here's a few that, that I've played around with. And there's a link here that sends you over to grab more extensions that partners have developed. So this is a great way to see what else is out there, what else is possible, and what other people have created uh, that you can do with data. And there's uh, a, a whole library of data extensions and custom visualizations that you can choose from to visualize your data and here's a here's a, a sample so check that out and you can see some of them here MongoDB extension for Lumera Spark extension for Lumera so there's a number of here uh, charts and, and different graphs that partners uh, SAP employees um, have created uh, and, and hosted out on this extension library 
Now, one of the cool new things brought in here is uh, really a, uh, an integration of the Compose area. And you've, you can see I've started to build my own infographic here on some of this data. But uh, bringing together dashboards, storyboards, and infographics into one experience um, and really simplifying that experience. And so as I create out now my, my dashboard, it really is just a, a drag and drop of my visualizations. And I can easily, quickly modify these uh, and create uh, whatever the story is that I want to tell uh, with my stakeholders um, and uh, manipulate the, the look and feel of it, add in graphics, add in infographics to this, and you can see all of the chart controls, pictograms, and shapes that you can, you can customize. So there's lots of ways to, to be able to tell your story with data here. And then finally, if we go over to the Share tab, I can then select those, those stories or the visualizations and then publish them up to my to my server. Uh, I can publish them to my BI platform. I can send them up into the cloud. So I have a number of different ways to, to save and share my visualizations with my team. Now let's go back and see how we're doing. So we've almost finished the installation of my server for Teams. And that has taken about four minutes. So we're closing in on, on the five minute mark. And what I'll do is, is quickly show you the setup. Now this won't take very long. And again, this installation has, has taken about five minutes. So you can download this and get up and running, I would say in, a, in under 10 minutes um, from, from opening up the file uh, to downloading it to, uh, to installing it. And once this installs, we'll go through a quick uh, setup and then we'll share one of my stories to my server. Okay, now my server for Teams has installed. And let me log in with my password. So again, this is just running on my on my laptop. And you'll see I have a number of samples. So now I'm logged in. I can see all the files that have been shared with me, uh, which I haven't done yet. Uh, and I can, I can assign uh, new members uh, or new team members to this. I can create groups and I have some, some simple ways to configure and look at uh, my licenses and my, my overall maintenance and configuration of my server, which is some, some simple stuff that I can do. But let's, let's share, let's go back to the desktop here and see how, show you how easy it is to save and share. Now one thing I'll need to do, let me see if I can log in here. Yep, that works. One thing I'll need to do, and let me cancel this, is to go into my preferences and just set up my connection to my server. And it's a very simple connection that I just need to input here. I'm running it locally off of my machine. And then I just need the, uh, the, the information for the server. So essentially the, the server number here, which is, which is right here, 6405. I put that into my preferences hit done. I may need to re restart Lumera uh, and then I can go ahead save that visualization that I've created. Uh, here it is here and I'll save it up to my server and then we go hit yes and let's come back over to my server and there it is right here and now I can interact with it, share it, add different members and share this uh, internally within my organization and uh, let's, uh, let's see what else I can do with it here. Let's view this uh, analysis that I put together. And again, this is just a, some simple analysis I quickly grabbed for, from some communications telco plan analysis. And you can see that, that infographic I was starting to work on. Now I can sh begin to share that with my teams. I, can, I also have some manipulation where I can refresh uh, and do some, some editing and even compose right, right here within the server. So uh, I'm still running on my server for Teams and I can uh, have all that uh, functionality to manipulate and edit it here um, as I can go in and modify my infographic. So to recap, a, a very quick overview of how you can grab Lumera server, grab Lumera desktop, and munge and mash data together, visualize it, and then share that with your teams. Again, take a quick look up onto sap.com slash Lumera, 
to grab the latest uh, version of the desktop and request a trial for the server for Teams and try this out within your organization. I think you saw how easy it was to get this up and running. Um, you can do it from start to finish in under 10 minutes and be productive and be able to start to share uh, these visualizations uh, with your team members and have them take advantage of some of the powerful analysis and data storytelling capabilities that Lumera has to offer. Thanks for watching.